once you go to uh, a point where you want to create and run a small garage level industry, which is what we're promoting, mm -hmm. you have to have industrial strength. We chose the Avortec because its duty cycle is much higher than even the Everlast duty cycle. Everlast, the best of the Everlast systems, will give you about a 60% duty cycle at maximum amperage. The Avortec, on the other hand, begins at 60% and goes up from there. Uh, according to the literature, you can get as high as 85% duty cycle at full power. So you don't have to derate this machine uh, depending on how much you want to use it. And I would rather work for eight and a half out of ten minutes and then just let it cool down for two minutes and then get back to work. And that to me is industry. You want to work for your four hours a day, not eight hours. Four right. hours is right. what we're promoting in, in democratic industry because you don't want to be a slave even to yourself. No, you need quality of life in well, addition up, to your work. Yeah, up here where we've got fantastic scenery and so much to do, you don't want to spend your whole day working in the shop, even though it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Now there are a lot of lightweight inverter systems out there. Inverters, the new technology which gets away from big heavy transformers and goes into uh, a high frequency power system and that allows you to get a lot of the iron out of the transformer part. You're operating at 20,000 to 100,000 cycles per second on the power supply, so that allows you to get more out of a smaller transformer. However, <laughs> you can't get the unit too light. A lot of people want to buy a little unit you can pick up with one hand and they're, they're down as low as 30 pounds wow. for a welder. And, but usually those are running very light duty rates, no more than about 35% duty rate. And you want something more substantial if this is your business. Uh, the, your higher price systems will run anywhere from about 40 pounds on up. Some are 60 pounds. Uh, your better priced, uh, better capable systems are about 60 pounds. This unit because they put more into the transformer and more into the cooling system to get it to run a much higher duty cycle, okay. there's more weight in it. So this one's pushing at least 70 pounds. On my home scale, it was showing a little over 70 pounds. And depending Manageable. on how accurate your scale is, it might be a little more than that, but between 70 and 80 pounds which you can pick up, normal person can pick up with the two handles. It cannot be picked up with a single handle in the center like the little units you see online uh, because this is industrial power. It's got to have industrial strength, so it's heavier, but it gives you that longer duty cycle. Now we're going to take a look at some of the moldy process capabilities of the system. Not only is it a welder that welds in stick and TIG, it's also got a built-in plasma cutting system. Now plasma cutting systems are a new way of cutting metals. You're using uh, plasma or very hot compressed air to cut through any metal, whether it's aluminum or steel. The plasma system on this unit is pretty hefty. It's 60 amp, which is above normal. Your normal plasma systems are anywhere from 20 amp to about 40 amps, which is good. Uh, 40 amps will cut up to maybe 3 quarter, maybe 7 eighths inch steel. 60 amps will definitely cut 1 inch, inch and a quarter, even inch and a half on a severance cut, which is ragged, but it will do it. So 60 amps is really good. It's in your higher amperage ratings for these systems. Like I said, this is a heavy-duty unit. It weighs 70 plus pounds. 
which means you have plenty of, of transformer iron in it. You have plenty of, of uh, heat sink for your IGBT modules. So good quality unit. This is industrial strength right here.